by five fans. The 11th car to make a run in qualifying here at Talladega is Ryan Sieg out of Tucker, Georgia. New sponsor for him this weekend, Alabama Soda and Abrasive Blasting. A Chevrolet for him, fourth on the main. Others taking two tires. Joey Logano, the first. Uh, race some more, but the, uh, the, the pack is just uh, surging a lot, and cars are getting to each other's bumpers, and when they get to some of the cars' bumpers, you see... Uh, a lot of give and take here at Talladega. Be fun to watch that 98 when we go green once again. A lot of drivers stayed out. Nice here. Still up there. Up there. Down the middle. Down the middle. Out there on the top by himself now, and Elliot Sadler decided to move down and go with his teammate. But you wind up making those moves, and the next thing you know, you don't have enough cars, and, and your, your progress just stops if you don't have any help. Saw Ryan Reed go to the garage damage race car done for the day, and now out of the care center, Matt. And Eric Arnold left front, so they brought it back down. They changed that, tightened it up, and the 22 is just as good as it was at the start of the race. Yeah, Brad Keselowski drove a little push from Casey Kane in the gold 88. And give a shout out to Ryan C. He's in the yes. third spot in that 39 car. What a great, strong run we talked about early in this race. There's underdog stories that'll be told today. Sieg's being one of those right now, running right up front. That bright orange 99 of David Starr in the top 10. What a burger, what a run. That car is running well. He's right there in the lead pack. You can see C getting shuffled a bit there. Are they gonna go four wide? Why, Why not? not? <laughs> <laughs> and made that pass. Darrell Wallace Jr. back in the top 10. He's another one that was involved in an early crash. Had to use the he is leading this race. And there's JJ Yaley, Bubba Wallace, who was in a wreck, Ryan C. This is good stuff. A couple of different strategies going on right now, Jamie. And Ryan Sieg, you mentioned, loves seeing the underdog teams running up front. His best finishes have come at plate tracks. The car's been pretty decent today, and he has a familiar voice in his ear, his spotter, Jason Hedleski. He uh, spots for Matt Kenseth on Sundays, longtime spotter for Carl Edwards. But he's guiding this driver through the field. And what they're saying right now, this front pack, they're all trying to get together on the same page. They're saying about lap 90, they want to come in and pit. That would be nine laps for that lead draft that had pitted. He has lost connection with that, and now we'll go a lap down. And how about the day for Daniel Suarez? You talk about a roller coaster ride, but right now second, but keeping in mind. The pit road, so spotters will be really important. Green flag pit stops here is difficult is that you're trying to slip Don't into. Him. You lose. And he's obviously was within two or three cars Down and obviously the lost the track, the lost the track. How tightly tied together those front five cars were. Their, their uniform draft that they had is what really did Joey in. He really needs a caution now. I mean, they just flat out pulled away. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it hurt the motor there. Not a great start by Annette. He isn't up on the back of the 20 car of Jones. You can see Ryan Sieg in the 39 has given Elliott Sadler a big push in the one car. That's going to clear the part of the mix once more. Behind him, the 40 machine. That's Timmy Hill. But he's one lap down. Keep that in mind as you watch his car. As is Joey Gase in the 52 just behind him in Jimmy Means Racing's car. Top 10 run at Daytona for the 52, but they're a lap down. But you can't you can't give up now. I mean, the two back in the lead. And that is just one of those situations where Algar, the lane was just coming so fast. We heard him talk about it earlier. It comes so fast that you can't block it. Michael Sieg has six career top 10s. Three of them have come at plate tracks. He'd love to be up there at the end of the day. He's in that blue and black 39. Is I feel like this point in, in plate racing, whether it's on Saturday or Sunday, Joey Logano is one of the best. I think there's so much energy and so many big surges uh, with the rules that the Xfinity cars have now, Kevin. It's going to be nearly impossible to block everybody off. Well, and the later it gets in this race. Sieg has got himself in a great position right now. He's got Elliott Sadler behind him. He's up in the middle of the of the lead pack there, but he's got some good pushers, and he's put himself in a really good position on this particular lap to be right up in the front. Talking about a good... 
Almirola out front reminds me of last July at Daytona. He won the race. If the caution comes out, we'd freeze the field, but no caution yet. We'll see if they let him race back. Ryan Sieg sliding through the grass. 